billion shillings owed to the county government by the national government. All right. So right now I want to cross over again and speak to my colleague Victor Ogale. He's joining us live from Nakuru to talk to us about the uh, health uh, situation there. Remember nurses are on strike. It's day four. And today the uh, CS for Labour, Phyllis Candier, is set to meet with all parties. That includes the Council of Governors, is the Sarasarem led uh, SRC uh, together with the union officials. But let's now get uh, what the Monanchi really is really going through. Victor, thank you very much for joining us. Maybe you can just describe for us how the situation has been over the last four days uh, in regards to the nurses' strike. Well, uh, Betty, the situation here in Akuru County is not one that anyone would want to smile about. Uh, at the Provincial General Hospital, rather the County Faro Hospital, commonly known as PGH, when we went there on Monday, and that has been the case from Monday up to today morning, the few patients that have uh, turned up, or rather were turning up at the facility, they were being told to just go home or, rather, or seek alternative places where they were going to seek uh, medication for either them or for their loved ones. And even the few that had been admitted earlier before the strike began on Monday, uh, they have been told to perhaps contact their relatives or their next of kin to come and transfer them to other hospitals. So as it is now, people are now moving to private hospitals, which to the common Mwanainti tends to bite hard in terms of, um, if you look at it financially, because they'll have to dig digger in the pockets compared to when they're being treated at a government facility. Uh, a, a case in point, we met a lady uh, who had come, it was a referral case from um, the, 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 the son was unwell, a 10-year-old son was unwell. It was a referral case from Subukia. So from Subukia, he was, she was referred here on arriving here uh, in the morning. She was told that she cannot be helped. And she was told even if she leaves her kid there, they'll just stay at her. So she was forced to seek alternative means to go to St. Mary's Hospital, which is um, along the Nakuru Gilgil Highway. And uh, apart from St. Mary's, uh, people are now flocking other facilities, such as the Kijabe Mission Hospital, which are uh, in a nutshell, at the end of the day, uh, patients are going to be forced uh, to dig deeper. And indeed, not only from the Provincial General Hospital, if you go to other sub-counties such as Molo, Bahati, Njoro, that is the same situation. Um, the nurses strike is biting in hard. If you look at Gilgil, hospital, uh, it is a government facility and uh, that is an, another unique facility uh, because we have uh, people there who have mental cases, rather suffering from mental illness who have been admitted there. The situation there is one that we can say is not very bad. We have a few who are monitoring those who have been admitted there. But if it persists and um, those psychiatric nurses decide to join their colleagues, me and you know what it means, Betty. And let's talk about the pressure, really. You've mentioned that, you know, people or relatives are, uh, are removing their patients from uh, the uh, public hospital hospitals to the private uh, ones. What kind of pressure are these private uh, hospitals and clinics then receiving? Well, it, it, it is a hassle for them because now you're forced to go and look for a wheelchair and uh, perhaps the only person who might help you is the guard there manning the, the door at the hospital. So you have to ask him and he tells you go to room six or go to a particular place where you'll get the wheelchair. You come and try and carry your relative on your own. Perhaps it might be, uh, if perhaps you came more than one people, one relative to see your, your loved one, you have a chance of helping your person, putting them on a wheelchair, then you have to organize again if you're going to use a taxi or a tuk-tuk or whichever means to transfer them. So it is also a hassle if you go, there is too much confusion if you go to all these public hospitals because people are running up and down trying to locate where their loved ones are, how are we going to get them from this facility to another facility, uh, what were the drugs, what prescriptions were there and stuff like that.